What's going on everyone? My name is Tenebris Infinite and today I'm bringing you dudes a video on how to absolutely destroy the brand new fire burps that were introduced in the Dark Skies update just a couple days ago. As the first true flying enemy in the game, this burb poses a number of new problems for us to overcome. From leading shots to anticipating movement, new weapons like howitzers and explosive rounds, and a number of tricks up their sleeves, the Firebird comes to Generation Zero as a creation of pure destruction. But all of these are things that we can easily overcome with just a little bit of component knowledge and strategy. So first, before we start talking about the components you'll want to go for, I'd like to quickly show the locations of all the blueprints so that we could all be on the same page here. The first one can be found over at the Hidden Phoenix Outpost during the Death From Above mission. The second one can be found near the second Soviet relay beacon off in Hagaboda. You'll find this one near a permanently burning barrel, so the barrel is a good signifier of where it's at, and it's just beside the dead soldier here. And for the Spetsnaz class, you can find this one just over in the eastern gate up in the ramparts. Now, let's get into the components you'll see on Firebirds. Their loadout doesn't change too dramatically with each class, though as you go up in classes, they gradually become more armored. On the core, we have the bulk of the components. Down beside the howitzer are bomb bays, and just behind the howitzer are two fuel cells. Then moving up the core, we have the eye, which usually has some sort of shielding above it when you're fighting a soldier or Spetsnaz class burb. You'll often be tempted to go for the thrusters as components, but I'll show you in this video that they are not the best component to go for if you're aiming to shoot down the bird quickly. As well, this is one of the first machines where I'm actually advising you against going after its weapon, as it just doesn't do as much damage as what other components are capable of doing. Then for the soldier class, we see that its armor has changed up a little bit, but outside of that, its weapons and components all remain in the same locations. The armor for these guys sits in an interesting location further up on top of the machine, and it's, it's kind of funny because most of those armor pieces don't actually really do anything except for catching some of your side fire and scatter shots. Uh, so, really, you don't need to worry about any of the armor pieces too much, except for potentially the armor pieces on the howitzer, because sometimes they can block your shots towards the fuel canisters. And then, lastly, the Soviet version of a prototype, the Scout class. This guy has the least amount of armoring out of all three of them, and again, all of the components are in the exact same spot. So, if you want to learn the Firebirds really easily and with low risk, uh, the Scout class is a good option to go for. So, to demonstrate here on the Scout class, I'll show you guys what components you want to be going for, so that that way you can take down these machines really quickly, within a minute, you know, not using a lot of ammo. So, let's get just a little bit closer here. And you want to wait for a moment for them to be relatively still, or at least in a predictable spot. Alright, there goes one of his fuel cells. We're going to go for the second one. be a bit hard when they're moving up and down but there we go there's the second one and now we're going to go for the eye and with those three components you could take them down really quickly sometimes you won't be able to get an ultra clean shot on the fuel cells in the back if you can't just try to do the damage you can in the moment in time and while he's flying towards you from a far distance, you get a pretty good opportunity to go for the eye and the optics. Let's try to lead our shot. One more. There we go. Nice. 
When you have the experimental PVG, fighting against these guys becomes incredibly easy because you're able to reach the components on the backside. So uh, all you want to do is just kind of aim for where you know that fuel cell is at in behind the howitzer. It does kind of move around as the machine moves. Uh, they're, they're pretty nimble, surprisingly, for being such a large flying machine. But uh, again, just go for the fuel cells and then go for the optics and the Firebird will usually go down quickly after that. When you're under fire from the Firebird, you just need to kind of remain calm for the most part. Uh, every time you get hit and your character recoils, they'll return to the position that you were aiming at in the first place. So as long as you kind of keep in rhythm to the shots of the howitzer and you're just firing in between those shots, uh, you'll be able to pull off clean shots every time. A big thing for taking on Firebirds easily is utilizing distance. The further away you are from the Firebird, the safer you are in terms of dodging their shots because they have a very large AoE. So you'll want to kind of keep probably a good maybe 200 meters to... I don't know, it's kind of hard to gauge how far away this guy is. But you want to keep a pretty healthy distance in between you and the Firebird to give yourself that time to evade his attacks. When you're fighting multiple Firebirds at once, utilizing EMP rockets is probably one of your best friends. In general, EMPs are very effective against Firebirds. It stuns them, they float up in midair and stay stationary, which allows you to attack various components like what I've been showing you so far. Uh, but when you're fighting against two of them at once, you want to be really careful because their howitzers can kind of like line up perfectly to have a just continuous barrage coming at you. Uh, so you'll want to utilize various stunning tactics like EMPs. As well as I'm showing in the video clip here, going for the drop hatches uh, that that drop the bombs and stuff like that, it's not really one of the best components to go for. It's very heavily armored and uh, is a very small component in there. These guys can be pretty tanky to rounds like 556 and 762, so you want to utilize rounds like 50 BMG, uh, maybe the sniper rounds, uh, and rockets in order to engage these guys a little bit more effectively. Uh, if you are going to be using an assault rifle of some sort, try to get as close to them as possible so that that way you aren't suffering from too much damage drop off. You'll want to be really careful for the uh, mini bombs that they put off because they'll knock you down even if you have steady feet. But as long as you remember the components even just a little bit with these guys, then even fighting two of them at once or three of them at once becomes a much easier task. Now, you might be tempted to go for the glowing weak spots, the, the thrusters on these guys, and I'm not going to say that they're a bad choice, because if you can take down all four, then it's pretty much a for sure kill on any uh, Firebird. But the problem with them is that uh, they're a very small component to hit, uh, and sometimes that can be a little bit difficult to lead shots on and get accurate shots on, so you can waste a bit of ammo going after them. Uh, as well, whenever you destroy one, the machine staggers quite heavily, and that can make it, uh, again, equally hard to make some follow-up shots. You can have a lot of fun picking these guys apart, but as long as you primarily aim for the eyes and the fuel canisters, you'll have an easy fight against them every single time. So, let me know, what do you think of our new Burb Boyo? Personally, I love them. They pose a new threat and bring the fight to the skies in a radical new way. With unique weaponry and the room for an even higher tier of Firebirds someday to really be the death machine the Soviets intended. So hopefully this video helps you out. If it does, a like goes a huge way in saying thank you. But for now, I'd like to thank you for watching and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace out.